do now? Um, I'm start running. I start running on Monday on the Autogy with 70%. Um, I'm gonna run tomorrow again, and they're gonna increase the like, percent body weight over the next, I think, two weeks. And two, maximum three weeks, I should be able to start running on the court. Does it kind of feel like you're like you're getting there? Like, does it kind of feel good to be, you know, getting back to that point? Um, it feels great. Yeah. I mean, since I'm off crutches and started basketball stuff, and more and more, it feels great. I mean, I never had those kind of injury. I mean, I had shoulder surgeries, but it's different. Um, it's just fun. Every time I get something new to do, new exercise, like now with running and all this stuff, it's just fun for me. Is there anything you learned about NBA basketball this year or needed to learn in your first year? Uh, <laughs> it's hard to watch when you're into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, um, I made my experience over the first, when I played the first 60 games, um, like how good individual players are in the NBA. Um, before I knew it just from TV or video games, they come here, especially seeing like Kerry putting in his work every day in practice facility um, and also when we play games but and also when I watch a, like the player run we had mm -hmm. just I had fun watching those guys and I was more excited than hurt so I can join them next year again and we can make a run yeah, you talked about how fun it was for you to watch that run what, what about that run stood out to you the most just how the whole team stick together they, like the guys who played, they didn't care who was injured, who wasn't um, at the game, who wasn't playing. They just cared about who was with the team, who played. And like that, everybody just stepped up. Like JT, the whole players, Jalen, then especially Terry. Also, when Kyrie got hurt, he was a starter. He improved, especially as a point guard. Um, he shared the ball. He made plays. He's one of, I would say, one of the best point guard. Point guards for rebounding, point guards in this NBA. And I think it was hard for teams to guarding us because everybody was able to step up from L or Morris to Terry. Did you know that like your skill set was going to translate as well to the NBA as it did just from watching him? Obviously, you were able to switch, able to hit threes, able to do that kind of stuff. Did you know that it was going to be that kind of seamless? I was hoping for it, but sure. you, you never know before. Um, I think for me it was just because I played professionals for so many years now, I know what my strengths are and what um, I can give the team to help them. That's what I try to do here, especially with the Satan and Brad system. Just, we have scorers in, this, in the team with Curry, before the team with Gordon, um, always L. So I know if I want to play and help the team, for me it's about energy, defense and rebounding. This might be a weird question. How quickly did things come together for you guys back in training camp? like before all the injuries and stuff like that? Um, supp um, surprisingly quick, especially because we had 10, 11, 12 new guys. Yeah. So everybody was on the same page from the beginning. Everybody had to learn new. I think what made us strong, um, over, I wouldn't say overachieve, but everybody expected maybe oh, they're gonna take some time, they need time, especially with the preseason was shorter than usual. Um, we had it from the get-go. Like, um, we just had fun being on the court together, competing. Do you think it'll be a similar experience in this training camp? Because, I mean, it'll be obviously a lot of guys who are back, but also, like, you know, with Gordon coming back, like, that'll, you know, be a guy that didn't play much this year, obviously. I would say we're going to be ahead from preseason last year in September because everybody knows Brett's system, especially Gordon knows from his time. <laughs> but, like, he knows what Brett wants, what he wants. Um, it's going to make it easy, like Bain said in the locker room also, I think to me after when they lost with San Antonio, the finals, next preseason they started where they left the gym. Um, I hope we're going to have the same like, effect on our team after we lost game seven. Do you plan to stay around here for a while? What's your plan for the summer? Um, I'm going home on Saturday, do my rehab there, I'm going to stay home for seven weeks and then I come back end of July. When I do, when I can start with full basketball activities, mm -hmm. then I'll be back here so I can do one-on-one, two-on-two stuff. Are you still planning to play for a uh, German team this summer? Um, when everything goes well, yes. Yeah. In September, there's the second window, the World Cup qualification. Um, 
it's good, it's good for me because after being hurt so long, also Brad told me already when I have the green light, I can play. It's the best preparation for me to play, I don't know, two, three, four, five games um, on a high level. And then what does this event mean to you or what, it, what was it like in there? You know, I'm just going to turn this because the light, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <You> better lighting. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's, it's always great to give something back for the kids. Just be here, um, how much fun they have, just seeing some just like Celtics players, also lucky, um, playing some games, just answer some questions maybe they could, were never able to ask a um, Celtics player. And I like to do it. I just, like I said, it's fun because even when fans or kids come to the TD and they cheer, and then when, like for me, I come here in the school where their home is, like they, I come here and just, like I said, they, they have so much fun. And it's, for me, it's also fun. And when they smile, when they come up, give them a high five, and they're happy. And it's, for me, it's also, it makes me happy. Yeah, so Aaron Baines is a free agent this summer. How important was he to you guys, and how, how badly do you need someone with, with his kind of interior presence? He was really important. I don't know if many people know. I think he had, was top three of the defense rating in the whole NBA. I mean, a lot of people just look games and see, oh, maybe it doesn't help the team. But if you look at numbers, what matters for us, especially with the um, best or second best defense in the NBA, the yeah. regular season, it's big. And Aaron does things maybe you can't see on the stage. He's he taking charge. He contested so many um, shots. He helped people when they got beat. He's a big part of the team. Uh, Daniel, just going along with this event, um, uh, you know, just giving back and having these kids, uh, you know, learn the importance of exercise. And um, for the kid, it's also important um, because for them, schools like for us, we're training. They work hard to achieve a goal. For them, it's right now, it's great, it's good grades for tests, and for us, it's just getting better every day. Um, and just bring them or talk to them a little bit about it. Um, they can see it's for an athlete or a set player, it's the same um, as for them. Just learning. Also, we learn every day from Brad, assisting over Rebo's video. It's a learning for us too. Thanks, Brad.